Happy 4th of July, people. I got a special treat for you guys. Kyle Winther from Vapor Hub sent me their brand new Hydra Dipped AR mod for review. They just released. I've been vaping on it for about a month now, and I've got to say, it's been a huge pain in my ass, but it's ended up worth it. I've, I've had quite a few problems with this mod after trying to figure out how it actually works. It's the hardest hitting mod that I have. I, other than it was a pain in my ass at first, it's, it's amazing. But what we're gonna do is I'll show you how she vapes. We're gonna dive down up close, see what we can do with it. Let's dive down up close, see how she works. When it came to me, just like every AR mod, it comes with an authentic dog tag from Tac Mods USA. This is how it came stock with copper pins, the top pin, it's a copper pin, take it out. It's got this other little pin right there. You can loosen that out like so, and it'll keep you from having battery rattle. The button also has a copper pin. And when it came to me, it already had the aftermarket magnets. It's the aftermarket magnets. At first, it was hitting really well, like very, very well. All of a sudden, it was hitting weakly. Even with fresh batteries, I realized that these magnets, the negative wasn't making any ground connection. So even though the pins were making full contact, it was not firing. I had to get a silver plated loaded spring that's heat treated. No matter how sub ohm you go, this thing is not going to collapse in on itself. And so I installed that. It was pretty good but it wasn't the best. It was not at all hitting exactly how I wanted it. So I ordered the aftermarket silver plated contacts. Once I did that, just started hitting like an absolute beast. It made a world of difference. So you go ahead, put your contact in, get your bottom switch here, put the spring in it, get your octagon shape button. As an octagon shape button so it doesn't spin out, it won't loosen itself up, which I absolutely love that because all my other mods, eventually the button will come loose and undo itself. And so you tighten that down, get it nice and flush there. I like it sticking out just a little bit farther. You can have it either way. Right here, it says AR and then the serial number. One thing that really bothered me when I got this, it had a chip in it. A pretty bad chip there. There was a couple more. There was this one. Was not pleased with that. There's a couple other little spots where it's got chips too. This is hydro dipped. And if you haven't seen the hydro dipping process, it is absolutely incredible. It's a carbon fiber hydro dip. And what they do, they put like a sheet of paint in like a bucket of water. Once you dip it in, the paint adheres to it and become whatever pattern or camouflage or anything that you want on it. So here we go, we got the AR mod right here, looking sexy as fuck. One thing that really impressed me, finally mod makers are doing it right, the threads were not painted when I received this. I was so happy about that because I didn't have to break out the Dremel tool and didn't have to grind it off myself. What you do, you pop it in there, get your atomizer. I'm gonna be using my K-Fun. You go ahead, tighten it down. Then you adjust the silver plated pin. And if you've got a battery rattle, there you go, you got a little bit. Just adjust this little 
second contact. These threads are amazing. I absolutely love them. They're so beefy. It's basically impossible to strip. You would have to try to strip these threads. No battery rattle now. It is an absolute beast. And as I said before, in the beginning, this mod was a huge pain in my ass. I had talked to several people that had had them. I talked to customer service. They sent me the silver pins. The silver pins, it was working good. The magnets weren't making negative ground connection. So it still wasn't firing at all. So they sent me the silver plated loaded spring. And once I popped that bad boy in there, it was just hitting like a beast. I talked to Kyle, talked to customer service, and they helped me out. At this point, I'm absolutely in love with this mod. I have wanted an AR mod since before they even released them. The only thing that was holding me back because of the price, you can get these for $179. After the upgrades that I've put into it, I absolutely love this thing. I would definitely recommend people purchasing this if it's in their budget. I would highly advise to go ahead and buy the aftermarket upgrades with it. Once you do that, you are going to be pleased with this. It is just absolutely beast of a mod. It's durable as hell. This would be my all-day vape, but I don't want to mess it up, so I leave it at home. So I'm going to give you all one last good look at it. Absolute beautiful work of art. AR-15, and this thing is an absolute tank. This is it for up close and personal with the AR mod. As you can see, it's a beautiful mod. I've wanted an AR mod ever since, well, before they came out. And I was very happy that they sent me one for review. And I wasn't impressed at first, but now I'm pretty impressed with it. Now that I've got those silver pins, the silver plated loaded spring, it's it's just a beast. That's all I've got to say about it. The thing's a tank. I've dropped it several times and it's not chipping or anything. I know quite a few people that have had them. Some haven't liked them just because they haven't figured it out. A lot of people just vouch the shit out of this mod. They love it. Honestly, I've been vaping this thing nonstop for the last month. The fluid I'm using is my absolute favorite dripping fluid. It's Lycosur from Demented E-Liquids. Mike Martinez sent it to me. He's got these big, big 50 mil bottles for $15. It's basically an RY4. It's caramel, vanilla, tobacco. And also, he's got 250 mil bottles for only 65. And he's got 500 mil bottles for 105. So definitely check this stuff out. Get a sample try his other flavors. It is literally the best juice I've ever tried. That's what I've been dripping non-stop. Patriot clone from Tobacco with the huge post holes. I got a .08 build in here. I did a tutorial on it. It's Izzy's Beast build, but I used a 564 bit. It's, it's just a monster. And I did this one with 20 gauge Canthal. Go check out the other video that I did a few weeks ago. It's, it's bad. All right, y'all. Have a good 4th of July weekend. Stay safe and vape on.